Hey, welcome everybody to Southfield. Uh, I'm Jacob Sohn here with Ryan Roundy. Uh, Ryan Roundy, the great four-time All-American, led BYU to a couple uh, national championships uh, in his time at BYU. Uh, it's it's a beautiful day. It's about 55 degrees. We've got uh, St. Mary's, the Gales of St. Mary's, uh, visiting us uh, for a home, and I guess the away part for them, uh, or the home part for uh, BYU. Uh, of a home and away series, uh, and, and uh, I'll let Ryan tell, tell us a little bit more about that. Yeah, it's pretty cool that they've, you know, that uh, Coach Smith and Coach O'Brien from St. Mary's they kind of got together and found a way to make this home home and away series available um, for each team. Obviously, two of the best call it collegiate teams in the country found dates um, in their respective programs' schedules, and made it possible to have this home and away. Uh, I think it's a great. Um, obviously, St. Mary's got the best of BYU a few weeks ago. Yep. Um, and now BYU has a chance to get one back here on their home field. Yeah, for those of you who missed that game uh, or the score, it was uh, 30 to uh, 24. Uh, St. Mary's uh, winning, I guess. It was a pretty close game. Um, there was just, it was kind of a, a mistake filled game for BYU obviously St. Mary's is very tough so if you're um, not able to you know jump out quickly or I guess I play a really tight game rather uh, St. Mary's is going to take advantage of that so um, let's jump into the keys uh, the keys of the game here uh, for today yeah well, we uh, talked about last game when BYU played Glendale um, they they did a really good job of the, their set pieces um, and they really need to keep improving on that, get a good platform for the backs. Uh, they Today they really need to be f uh, f up their physicality and their accuracy at the breakdown. Um, that 9 10 communication, connection and communication from Luke Maki to Johnny Linehan, um, and uh, the forwards just need to do their job today. Yeah, so in the set piece, yeah, they, they um, definitely need to work on their throws a little bit. I assume David Collins has been working on his throw-ins last week because um, we had a few overthrows, some not straight balls, things like that. So, uh, And I'd like to uh, just let's talk about a couple of key players here. Um, Will Taylor there, as you see, uh, he's he's the six foot four, two twenty five pound lock. He's he's switched over this year into the forward pack from being the fullback last year. Uh, had a really solid game last week. He's got uh, a really great fitness level, a very um, a high work ethic, and he needs to keep that up. He needs to be uh, that that connector piece between. Um, the forwards and the backs, and, and really keep the ball, uh, you know, moving through the backs and and play solid. Yeah, and you know, Will, it's been a, it's been interesting to see him transition from, you know, back to being a forward, being in that lock position this year. Um, but he's really he's really taking in, uh, taking ownership of that transition, and he's done really well in it. And kind of uh, you're saying, Jake, he needs to do really well today in the set pieces. Um, really own those lineouts and steal a couple for BYU, and that would be awesome. Yep, exactly. Um, so, secondly, uh, key to the game, uh, Johnny Linehan. Uh, obviously, uh, there's Johnny uh, from New Zealand, and, and we know his family's probably tuning in today. I don't think they miss a game. Um, he uh, he played very well last week. He actually was playing um, in the in the fullback position last week, but he's moved back to number ten. Um, so I think that the coaches are, are hoping that um, he can 
you know, bring, I guess, a little more continuity in there in that 9-10 connection. Uh, he, Johnny needs to be perfect on his kicks today. Uh, he's uh, a great kicker, but really uh, one penalty kick, uh, one conversion could be the difference between a win and a loss in this game. So you see him uh, slotting a, a, a beautiful conversion um, kick from last week. Uh, he's just a, he just had a great all-around game, created a lot from that fullback position, and I think he does a really fantastic job of, of doing that. Great passing skills. Okay, here we are. So, um, for those of you just uh, beautiful line break there from uh, Jared Whippy. Yes, Josh Whippy. Oh, Josh Whippy. Sorry, Jared and Josh Whippy both getting the start today. So I believe uh, Josh is playing fullback, and uh, Jared's at wing. Chris, stay in on that. Or center, actually, rather, Jared. See a beautiful run there before he's forced out of bounds. Okay, so. Uh, a little bit of a short kick there, but. St. Mary's uh, doing, a, doing a good job of of returning uh, fire here at BYU. Yeah, it's been good just going back and forth, kind of exchanging kicks. Good defense. I think each team's kind of seeing what the other team's made of right now. Oh, little knock on there from St. Mary's. I think that was, uh, it was the Kingsley McGowan that kind of lost yeah. the ball forward on that tackle. See the first scrum today. Uh, this will be a, a big sign, I think, of the day. Each team's going to want to, you know, make a make an impact right now. Obviously, we, we thought St. Mary's had the upper hand when they first played a few weeks ago, and BYU is going to want to match them today and uh, really set a good platform. So we'll see what happens in this first scrum. Yep. This is the time to do it here. These these early scrums are the time to really set the tone if you're the BYU forward pack. A little bit of a messy. Oh, and a short arm penalty there against BYU. Looks like. Um, a direct feed, it looks like he gave it to Luke. So you got to give the other team an equal chance to uh, swipe at that ball. So if St. Mary's making some good progress into BYU territory here, and a full penalty. St. Mary's opting for a quick tap. St. Mary's coming out with a lot of confidence, good pace. Yeah, well within range there to take a shot at post, especially with Garrett Brewer. Um, so an interesting play for them to go quick on that. Definitely, uh, definitely shows how confident they are. Yep. So uh, Ryan, you informed me that Garrett Brewer is part of that same uh, USA Eagles camp that um, flanker Kyle Sumption and flanker and captain Kyle Sumption was a part of a few weeks ago. Yes, yeah, so well, it's actually the it's the upcoming camp. Actually, the, they will uh, be preparing for the World Cup qualifier against Uruguay. They'll be going down to Atlanta. Um, they'll be yeah preparing for that first World Cup qualifier game against Uruguay. So, like you said, we'll have Billy's uh, captain Kyle Sumption, and then the fly half for St. Mary's uh, Garrett Brewer. They will both be attending that camp. Yeah. So. Uh you got viewers at home. You're watching a couple of potential Eagles here uh, representing the national team. St. Mary's doing a good job of keeping possession here. Um, seems like they kind of haven't made too much ground, but they're they're putting together the phases and they're keeping control of the ball. They're keep, keeping yep. possession. Um, so let's we'll see how uh, how BYU's defense responds right here when they get this close to the try line. Yeah, those that that uh, tight. You know, mistake-free rugby is what BYU is going to need and St. Mary's. I mean, both teams, it's really going to come down to um, who plays a tighter game today. Good take there. And, and the, the ball's been turned over. Luke Maki with a good clearing kick, good quick clearing kick. Really yeah, pushed them all the way down inside the 22-meter line before it's picked up. Oh, and, and not really a great kick back there from St. Mary's. No, let's see if Johnny they can take space. There's a lot of space Ball out wide. Hand. Goes with a little chip pick. 
Oh, beautifully recovered there by Whippy. Oh, take it, picked back up by Johnny Linehan. And for the first try of the game, wow! That was beautiful. A really favorable bounce there off of, off of Johnny Linehan's little kick, little chip over. And you know, it all started out with uh, a little knock-on from St. Mary's. They knocked it on in the tackle. Um, Luke got a great kick, and then they, they kicked it back. Johnny got it, gave that little chip kick. Josh picked it up. Beautiful kick, by, or a pass by Josh over the shoulder there back to Johnny. Way to follow the kick there, Johnny. That's yeah, you're right. That's the, that's ex as you pointed out, it was it. So all started with that little knock on over there with, as St. Mary's was knocking on the door. Yeah, yeah it's just uh, it shows you how quick the game can change. Um, St. Mary's is putting together those possessions, putting together those phases, had a good string of phases going. It took one knock on, a few exchanges of kicks, and BYU found the space out wide. And it's exactly what they need to do today. They need to take advantage of those turnovers and make St. Mary's pay. And, you know, kind of they luckily got that uh, great hop on that kick. Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes they hop up just like you need to. Yep. And did that at time, and Josh was there to gather it. So it was a great opening, opening try there for BYU. Yeah, that was really, really well executed. So here's St. Mary's on the restart. So BYU 7, St. Mary's... Zero. And kicking here, that is that Garrett Brewer who will, who's the fly half for St. Mary's who will be looking to make a big impact on the field today. A beautiful restart from him. Wow, well taken there by Will Taylor. Big number four. Using all of his height and his hops to get there. Johnny with ball in hand again. Pops it out wide to Seki Kofi. Seki with a little fake and holds on to the ball. And a great pass out to the fly half or wing. Ball still alive. St. Mary's trying to get it out. Luke Maki comes in, takes, you know, gets control. Good recycle there. Nice cut by Whippy. Good recycle. There's Dave Collins, number one. Two hands on that ball, Dave. It's like the defense has gone back right now. They need to look to just kind of calm things down, get collected, and just kind of go through the phases here. Yep. Johnny with a dangerous little pop there off of the turf, but made it work. Oh no, and it's a knock on by Dave Collins. So that's the, that's the uh, this is that area, same area that we talked about last week as well, where BYU just needs to calm down, run through the phases. And you know those, those wide passes, those long passes on the five meter line, those are just you know, you get the defense that are on their goal line. Uh, they're not really going back. They know that, you know, they have to find that try line. And those long passes, you know, the defense didn't come up and get in his face. And uh, DC just couldn't get a good hole on the ball. Yep. So it'll be St. Mary's uh, scrum here for the five-meter line. Good stuff from BYU so far. Yeah, St. Mary's just want to get, get this ball, want to get the ball out of their end, kind of release some pressure. Good pick by the number eight. A good, good defense there by BYU. And there's the kick. Decent kick, relieved a little bit of pressure there by Garrett Brewer. So he, he's really their, uh, the golden boot for them. Yeah, he's there. I mean, he's our playmaker being there at fly half. He is a great playmaker. Um, he can do a lot of stuff with ball in hand, and they're going to need him to be on today to you know, create space and find the gaps in the BYU defense. Mm-hmm. So BYU line out here. This is uh, an area that we're we're looking for BYU to improve on from last week. Good first line out. BYU secures the ball. Short little mall. Oh, and looks like there was a knock on there. Yeah, they did a great job of securing that line out. Um, one of the things they need to absolutely have to do today in order to win this game. Um, kind of it's that get, they got Will up quick, you got a tall guy up front to get him up quick, get the ball, but it looks like some, somehow in the tackle there he, uh, he knocked it off. Mm -hmm. So another, another big scrum here, it'll be interesting to see what St. Mary's wants to do, whether they want to relieve the pressure or kind of play, you know, they're just outside their 22, so they can't kick it out of bounds. But let's see, uh, see what they want to do on this play. Probably try to get it to the middle of the field. Get it in the hands of those. It's a good, really good scrum from St. Mary's there. Looking for some space. Missed tackle there, a yep. little bit high, huh? 
few missed tackles, yeah, they're, I mean, they're good with ball in hand. Once, uh, if, you make, make it, if you miss a tackle, they're going to get their hands free and uh, offload the ball. It's a great job by St. Mary's. Yep, St. Mary's, good numbers. Some fancy little fins there from Kingsley McGowan. Very speedy. A King, strong little back. Kings McGowan, he's a playmaker as well. He's uh, he's very dangerous there in the outside, of outside center position. Uh, Cougars are definitely going to have to keep track of him today. Some more missed tackles from BYU. Garrett Brewer making a pay. Out to the winger. I think that's Dino Waldron or actually Nicholas Schlobum, perhaps. St. Mary's has done a great job moving the ball down the field, um, getting inside. And a the full Abu's penalty half. there. Not sure ref wants to have a word here. You know, I didn't see who that was on. I think he's going to get him for the high tackle. Looks like he'll pull him up. Yeah, that'll be Ben Keith, who's filling in for the um, no yellow card, just a high tackle, yeah. So St. See here on the replay what happened. Yeah, she came a little too high on that yeah, tackle. Yeah, yep. Partially uh, Kingsley McGowan uh, ducking down as well, but uh, no reason you, you, you got to. You know, I think the, the reason why the ref kind of brought him over, in a game like this, it's going to be very intense. Players are, I mean, it's a huge game. They want to make sure that things don't get out of hand, so we just want to you know, call Ben over and say, just try to keep the tackles low. Don't want to get, uh, get carried away and start uh, giving out yellow cards. So. Yep, setting the tone. The referee is going to set that tone. Yeah. So easily slotted through kick there, penalty kick. So Ben Keith's uh, high tackle, um, costly for BYU. So score goes to, uh, BYU 7, St. Mary's 3. And I believe you can see the clock at home, but um, just in case you can't, we've, we've got uh, 12 minutes and 30 seconds gone here in the first half. I think that was Michael McCarthy that had that uh, had that penalty goal. It's a great kick. St. Mary's with a heavy uh, senior um, lineup here, so a lot of guys that have been playing together for several years, and uh, you know, looking they're 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 playing for uh, for everything this season. Want to put it all together. Great kick from St. Mary's there. Yeah, Garrett Brewer, he found the found the space behind the behind the backs. Got a good little roll, didn't roll too far. And all Jared Lippy could do is really find some space and kick it out of bounds and relieve that pressure. And not a great kick uh, in return from BYU. Um, just out to the 22 meter line, but but uh, enough to give him a little bit of space to work here. St. Mary's has a great chance right here. Um, line out just outside the 22 to really set a good platform for the backs and get some momentum going. So we'll see if the see how they do on this lineup. St. Mary's going with a short line out. Oh, and it's a terrible throw. Very fortunate for BYU. Great kick down, clearing kick down the middle of the field. Luke Maki chasing that. Oh, and Luke Maki tries to kick and run with it. And not a very good clearing kick there from St. Mary's. Goes back. BYU manages to keep it in bounds. Some handy, fancy footwork there. Kick it right into the hands of St. Mary. Chase, Chase. Good counter from St. Mary's. Picking up a lot of ground here. Kingsley McGowan, you could they have got to tackle him. BYU. And BYU, I think we've got coming off, coming from the side there. So, uh, you know, in, in, in rugby, Ryan, you want to tell us a little bit about um, what that penalty means? Yeah, I think BYU started to feel the pressure. Uh, obviously, they had, St. Mary's had some great go-forward ball there. And they, you know, once they got tackled, they set the ruck. Looked like a couple of BYU players, instead of coming all the way behind and coming through the gate, they had a player that kind of came in through the side. So we can see right there, yeah, Luke Maki just kind of came in from the side. Yep. Instead of coming in through the gate, which you have to do, and it'll, uh, it'll turn into a full penalty for St. Mary's. You know, uh, yeah, give him a chance for some He's, more points. He started. He started from you know coming in from the back, but then um, just got pushed and, and kind of wiggled his way in around through the side there. 
So St. Mary's with an opportunity to pull within one point here on the penalty kick. And he misses it. It's Michael McCarthy, Greg. I believe it's your, yeah, I believe it's Michael McCarthy. So you can tell uh, early on, we can see these teams are, are pretty well matched here. There's the kick from BYU. Nice little chip there from St. Mary's. Well taken by Chris Wernley. Looks like Chris got a fresh haircut this week. Dave Collins with a good charging run. Taking the ball from Luke Mucky. I just to correct myself on that, but that was Dylan Oddsley. He's wearing the 12 jersey. Dylan, yes, Oddsley, Dylan Oddsley, thank Oddsley, you. Yes. Doing the penalty goal duties. Michael McCarthy, he's, he's in the 11 jersey. Today. For them today. Correction on that. Sorry for our viewers for that mix up. So line out to BYU. So BYU going with a full line out here. Looking good so far in their line outs. Oh, and it's stolen from St. Mary's. I spoke too soon. Just a little bit of a low ball there from Dave Collins. We've got a penalty or a knock on, not sure. Oh, looks like there was a penalty there for not being behind the kicker. So St. Mary is attacking. When you're, uh, for those viewers at home that aren't very familiar with the rules of rugby, um, yeah, I believe that's what it was, or was it a knock on? You know, I'm not sure. I think if the, I think it would be an offsize full penalty if it was for in front of the kicker. So yeah, I'm not that's, sure exactly yeah. What so you never mind. That. Scratch that. It's. Uh, it looks like we must have had some kind of a knock on there. BYU scrum in good position. They've got a split back formation, middle of the field. Great scrum there by BYU. Yep, good platform. Whoa, great pass by the Whippy. Some good continuity. Oh, no, and he's taken out of bounds. Ben Keith couldn't quite get around the tackler. Great job by BYU there, about everyone getting their hands free and looking for that person in support. Um, yeah, great pass there from Whippy. But uh, Ben Keith's got to make sure that he cuts back inside. He cannot yep. afford that turnover right there, that close to the try line. Yeah, two, two guys that close to the sideline, he should have definitely cut back inside. So Costly turnover there. Let's see if uh, St. Mary's can take advantage of it and uh, kind of relieve this pressure, get the ball out of their half. Yeah, hear, hearing some good crowd noise here from BYU as the, the scrum down to St. Mary's close to the BYU sidelines or the or the the grandstands there. The referee having a little chat with the props. Trying to make sure everything's on the up and up. The scrum, the front row of the scrum can be uh, a dangerous place, so the referees take great caution to make sure that everything is being uh, executed properly and uh, there's no foul play up there. Don't want any injuries. Good good scrum, but well defended there by, by Ada Elkington. Yes, and holding on, great. That's Ada Elkington getting a, a reward for uh, jumping on that tackle so quickly. Great stuff from the kid from New Zealand. Yeah, whenever the eight picks the ball around, try you know tries just to you know, get a little go for momentum. The forwards have got to be right there on a right there with him. You can see the forwards are slow coming oh, off, mm -hmm. and uh, R has a great, great tackle. They got a few guys with uh, with their hands on the ball, and they got the penalty. Yep. So Johnny Linehan with a chance to uh, slot a penalty kick here and push the lead to. Seven points, back up to seven points for BYU. Johnny looked very good in his uh, pregame kicking. 
Just his like, kick well within his range. Just like you talked about the keys to the game, Johnny's got to make his kicks. Um, every point's going to count today. I think Johnny can be on, can be very lethal, and uh, shows you how good of a kicker he can be. Yep, and right there he the is. So Johnny with a perfect kicking day so far, and uh, so it looks like Johnny actually has all of BYU's points at this point in time. And, you know, teams have to be aware of that. They know that, you know, when, when Johnny's on his game, if they give up a penalty inside, you know, inside their half, inside their 40, Johnny's going to be confident to hit from anywhere. So they got to make sure that uh, they keep the penalties down and don't give those chances to BYU today. Mm -hmm. Good high restart. Oh, off the chest of Ben Keith there. So that's why uh, on that... Uh, on that kickoff, on the restart, it's crucial for the player to get their either their back or their at least their body sideways, because you can see uh, Ben went into that with his chest facing forward. So it's a lot easier to get a knock on, especially when you got uh, you know the the opposing forwards coming at you. So St. Mary's scrum. Another good scrum from St. Mary's. Looking for some room to run. Great tackle there by BYU. Some dummy runners. Distributing that ball out wide. Looking good. Good defense from BYU. BYU with several missed tackles on that uh, last drive from St. Mary's. Good steal and kick by Luke Mucky there. Gives BYU out of Elkington all the way down the field, putting some pressure. Oh. And you know, Luke was, he was tackled after he kicked that ball. And so that's why BYU's going to get this penalty here. After you're, the player kicks the ball, the defense has to let him run and pursue the kick. And uh, St. Mary's did not let Luke Maki do that. And so they're going to get a penalty where the ball landed. So BYU will. Uh, So here's what you're talking about there, Ryan. Camera just missed it, but Luke got hit there after he. It was close, but. Yeah, that's just one of those calls that you know the ref has to make. If a player is already committed, if he could have held up, um, and then I guess the ref thought in that case that you know he you know, kind of pull, could have pulled up, pulled back, but he didn't, and uh, they gave him the penalty. Yep. So so Johnny Lenahan with another opportunity to put three more points on the board from about the same spot where he kicked the last one. So we have a St. Mary's player shaken up, coming off the field. Some blood on his face, not sure what happened. Yeah, let's see if we can get a number on that. Johnny with another great kick. Uh, looks like that's number one, Ryan Pratt. I believe that's who we've got. So Johnny, it's another penalty kick that pushes BYU's lead, 13 to St. Mary's three. Plenty of plenty of rugby left to play here in the first half. Only 23 minutes gone. Garrett Brew with the restart. Really good high restart. As a forward, that's right where you want it. Wow, and St. Mary's recovers that. Yeah, uh, Garrett Brewer has done a really good job of getting those kicks really high and just about the 10-meter line, and they've done a great job of uh, putting pressure on BYU on this one they came up with it. Oh, and a turnover there. Looks like a little knock on and then perhaps another knock. Huh. So the knock on uh, the, the scrum awarded to St. Mary's, so apparently BYU had the knock on. You know, I think the ref might have missed that one. It looks like the guy at St. Mary's lost a forward first, um, and then yeah, Johnny kind of caught ball, it, and lost he lost forward. forward, and then Johnny knocked it on. But they'll uh, they eventually get the ball to St. Mary's. I guess technically the ball never hit the ground when St. Mary's turned it over. Went forward but never hit the brown, so I don't know what the ref's call is there. Oh, 
Forward pass there by St. Mary's. So it'll be uh, scrum down to BYU. BYU will have the feet and put into the scrum. It's been, a, it's been a good start of the game so far, about 25 minutes in. Um, both teams have put great pressure on. Billy's had the opportunity to get in for the for, for the lone try of the game mm -hmm. by, by Johnny Linehan. And uh, these last 15 minutes going to the half will be crucial to kind of get that momentum for the second half. So yeah, yeah. Can step up. BYU's tackling um, out wide has, has definitely improved here early in the game. Maybe just had to get the cobwebs out there. Johnny with a good kick to give some clearing, some space there to BYU. So it'll be St. Mary's uh, put in, or St. Mary's line out rather. And it seemed like that just bounced inside. It was uh, a little lucky there for Johnny. I believe, out. I believe, oh yeah, you're right actually. It did just barely. He was, he was inside the 22s. So uh, this is where I'm, I'm looking to for BYU to take advantage of, of like Will Taylor's height here, match up, get him involved. Yeah, St. Mary's might be wise to throw away from him. And they must have seen that uh, St. Mary's likes going to the back because they put Will Taylor in that second pod. Yep, and another long throw, but St. Mary's managed to handle it. Good kick there from Garrett. Well taken by Whippy. Whippy, wow, so with a good strong run and a nice little fake. Stays in bounds. Little toss to Luke Mucky, who puts a grubber on the ground. Kyle Sumption almost comes up with it. Good pressure by, by BYU. Great little series there. Great run by Josh Whippy, making a few guys miss, getting his hands free, and getting rid of that ball to a supporting runner. He, he couldn't That's have awesome. gotten any closer to stepping out of bounds than he did down here, so. See Josh right there, tiptoeing on the sidelines. He's, he's strong, though. He's a really strong runner. Gets his hands free. Gets over Luke with that little chip kick. Good pressure by Kyle Sumption. Great too. pressure by the captain there. Good line out by BYU. Taken out there by Will Taylor. Nice pass there by... Johnny, back to Johnny. Oh no, and Johnny just tosses it out of the reach of Jordan Lowry. You can see the skills of the, the Whippy brothers. Uh, we saw Josh first getting his hands freeze, getting rid of that ball. Jared at that time getting his hands freeze, uh, getting, just keeping that ball going forward. You never want to you know, set a ruck if you don't have to. He went down and got the ball available to Johnny. Space on the outside and it just, just missed the pass. Yeah, great, great continuity. That was it was beautiful continuity. Good, good flow. So St. Mary's line out here. Mike O'Neill, his tosses have been a little. Uh, he's had a few uh, overthrows. See what they do here. Going to the middle there. Great, great. Defend by BYU. Great skill by Will Taylor there. Yep, Will Taylor using his size. Luke Mucky gets it out quickly. Jared Whippy in for the try. Beautiful series. So BYU capitalizing once again on a turnover by St. Mary's. Yeah, Jared Whippy there getting that stiff arm out. Great run. So the Whip Whippy boys are on point today. Luke Mucky just with those quick hands out there to Johnny. Johnny gets it out. And and Whippy just pure power there. That's just pure strength from him. It's a great, great runner. Those Whippy boys have uh, put on a little bit of muscle since they uh, started here a few years ago. Yes, I remember playing with them uh, their freshman year. You know, just returned from their two-year LDS mission their first year back. Josh had a little bit of a hamstring pull, kind of always a pain coming back from that mission. First year, you don't really get a lot of, you know, you, don't, you obviously don't play rugby at all out on the mission, don't really get yeah. a lot of time to run or anything. And that first year back is always hard on the body and full back into a season. Yep. But, you know, they're doing just well today. They both had some great runs, and they've really contributed to the team. Yeah, excellent play. Good strong runs out of that back line. 
BYU jo with a lot of depth this year. Johnny stays perfect, hits that conversion again, and he is perfect on the, the day from conversions and penalty kicks. So it's, it's BYU 20, St. Mary's 3, with about 10 minutes left here in the first half. So this game going much differently than the last time these two teams met. St. Mary's can't be happy with this. And BYU really taking advantage of the mistakes. Garrett goes with a kick more towards the middle. Wow. Bounced right off of uh, Cody Thompson's chest, I think. Right into the arms of an oncoming St. Mary's forward. So St. Mary's has been dominant in the restarts. But BYU managing to relieve the pressure every time. St. Mary's really needs to get some points on the board here if they want to make a game out of this. Yeah, it would be key. I mean, they got uh, got some possession. They really need to string some paces together here. Oh no! Oh, he's saying that he's saying that Sumption came off his feet, or Ada came off his feet. One of the two. I'm not sure about that. I wonder if we can see a replay. So there's the tackle. Here's the breakdown. Remember, as you come through this, you got to stay on your feet. Uh, diving over. Yeah, not, yeah. not sure. I guess that's the. Uh, I'm going to defer to the ref on this one. He does this full time, or part time at least. Good line out there from St. Mary's. St. Mary's knocking on the door here. Yep, putting together this mall. See how great mall from St. Mary's. Job. I, yeah, get a lot of good forward momentum. So they're about 10 meters out now. Well, comes out the back end, uh, See if they can execute. Once again, oh no. Oh, and the pass went backwards. Oh, that looked like a forward pass to me. Not sure what the call is. It was a try for St. Mary's. Try for St. Mary's. Wow, that was a strong run. Yeah, they showed together a good, good few phases there off of that mall. He, you know, started out with that line out. They got some good forward momentum with that mall. Um, you know, a few passes landed out, got his hands free, and just a few missed tackles. Yep. I think that may have been Nicholas Schlobom. That'll be great for St. Mary's confidence here. You know, getting in, uh, finally getting under the posts, uh, getting in the try zone, and you know, getting some points on the board. We'll see how they can really respond these last seven minutes before halftime. Which team really goes into the break with uh, more momentum? Yep, St. Mary's can cut that lead to ten here. And plenty of time to get more points on the board. And that conversion is good. So BYU 10 to St. Mary's 10. BYU with the chance to, uh, with the restart here. So St. Mary's has really made the most of those restarts. Keep in mind that all, that whole series right there, that whole sc scoring series uh, happened off of that, um, that missed restart catch by Cody Thompson which was um, fielded off of, as it bounced off his chest by St. Mary's forward so good high restart from BYU let's see if they can return the favor oh and Will Taylor almost had it yeah it looked like he had some space had a lot of space looked like and just uh, couldn't quite get the handle on the ball yeah both teams are doing a great job of those restarts of putting pressure on the other team um, try and make him make a mistake because exactly like we just saw St. Mary's turned it into a try. So those restarts can be crucial. Yep. So scrum down there. Good pressure there from BYU off the scrum. St. Mary's kicking out deep out of their own half. That ball landing close to us here on the sideline. A great, uh, great relief and kick there, releasing some pressure by St. Mary's. Uh, line out here is just inside the BYU half. Let's see if BYU can uh, capitalize on this platform here. Yeah, about five minutes left to go here in the first half. They want to see if they can get some more points on, take the wind out of the, the sails of St. Mary's. Good line out actually there. I don't know if that was intentional. It looks like it was, but well taken by Luke Muckett. Luke Muckett, very quick hands getting that ball out. Does a fantastic job. Good support there. 
from BYU. Johnny with a little pitch back inside to Cody. Good run by Cody Thompson. Out to Will Taylor, who takes it up himself. Sucks in a lot of St. Mary's players with him. Dave Collins. There's a lot of space on the outside. Let's see if they can exploit it. Whippy with a nice little catch to Johnny. Johnny back inside to Wernley. Get there, get in there. BYU with no support. There was no support there. And there's a penalty, actually. Looks like BYU or uh, St. Mary's diving over. They got a little too excited. Uh, they, I think St. Mary saw that there was an easy chance to get a turnover there because BYU had no support here. We'll see on the replay. You know Great run by Wernley. Yeah, BYU got lucky on that. Yeah, yeah, he definitely did. Uh, he left his feet, kind of yep. just dove over. Yeah, so Wernley was isolated there. St. Mary saw an opportunity to get an easy turnover, but... Um, it, interesting to say that BYU opted to go with a line out instead of having John take a shot at the posts. We'll see if this uh, works out for him. Yeah, I think BYU really wants to, they want to try here. Great line out. A little bit of a high ball there. Uh, Whippy with a nice cut inside. Warnley. Maka getting that ball out really well to Johnny. We got space out there to Whippy. And Jordan Lowry, is he going to be held up? Can he get the ball down? Looks like he's got it down. He held it up. Ref is calling that he was held up. Couldn't Jordan Lowry just couldn't. Great defense there out on the wing by St. Mary's. Wow. So for those of you at home, once the player crosses the try line, he actually has to put downward pressure on the ball. He has to touch the ball down in the try zone. Looks like that time the ref said that once Jordan Lowry crossed the try line, the a St. Mary's player, we'll, we'll see the replay again here, but the St. Mary's player was able to, you know, kind of keep him from touching the ball down. Mm -hmm. So it was a great job by the St. Mary's defender to get his hands on the ball and make sure that Jordan, you know, couldn't tap the ball down uh, yep. and will in turn be a scrum to BYU on the five-meter line. And that's no easy feat either if you've seen the uh, physique of uh, Jordan Lowry. He is a muscle ball. He is a muscle <laughs> ball. He's not very he's not very tall, but he's a very strong kid. And uh, one of the things that contributes to is he's, he's short, he's quick, he's got that low center of gravity, and he's got uh, he's got a really dangerous stiff arm. Um, just couldn't get the couldn't quite get the separation there to get the ball down on the ground. Great series from BYU though. Great play off of that line out. That's what good solid set piece will do for you. Absolutely, and you, you can kind of see in the background there we have a St. Mary's player that's down. Um, I can't uh, can't see who it is. Don't have a number on it, but it looks like they're looking at his knee. So hopefully he'll be all right. BYU playing with more confidence this game, uh, I think, than the the last time they played St. Mary's. I think that they they've got a sense early on that that they could really blow this game wide open if they if they tighten their game up just a little bit more. The backs have been playing really well, a lot of continuity there. The Whippy boys have just been on point. Great connection between uh, Luke and Johnny, the nine and ten positions. Yeah, you knew that you know once they came back, they really liked the opportunity to have. St. Mary's come and play them on the whole field um, after getting beat by them a couple weeks ago. Oh, St. Mary's steals the scrum. So, bad turn of events there for BYU. And BYU steals it back, but what's the call? Oh, it's a full penalty to St. Mary's. Looks like hands were in the ruck. Some BYU, that's what we call getting your hands caught in the cookie jar. Yeah, let's see how... Uh, Great still here by St. Mary's. That yeah. is absolutely huge still. So that just that it was just that push right from the initial push. St. Mary's got him. And then you see here BYU comes in and, and and playing with the ball, I think, when they were on the ground. Couldn't see exactly who that was. Yeah. You gotta respect the ruck once it's formed if you're on defense. A little bit of a double movement there. Taken by Kyle Sumption, stolen stolen line out there by the captain Kyle Sumption. So BYU needs to be patient here in the final minute of play in this first half. Johnny finds a great line from Whippy. Oh, no. And Whippy can't feed, but it, the ball went backwards. So I think we placed. No, it's a knock-on. Knock I think Jared Whippy should have just. Was that Jared? Yeah, that yeah, was, was Jared. Jared. 
Jared should have just held on to that. He had a great line here. Wow, great line. Sometimes you just, you know, try to do too much. And I yeah. think that's what Jared was trying to do there. He was just trying to make, you know, too big of a play. Um, tried to get his hands free and get the ball to Ara. Yeah. And, you know, just didn't work out. I mean, applaud him for not being selfish and, and taking the ball in there. But um, oh, and you see the scrum collapses there. So we're going to have a yeah, have so them reset. Sometimes you really just need to, you know, see that the play is non, see the pass is non, and just go down and set the ruck and, yeah. you know, set another phase. Yep. And and I think Jared uh, ha had the speed and the power to, to push it right there to the try line, if not take it over. So. so as times. Most likely the last scrum oh, of the so game here. St. Mary's put in, looks like. BYU may have stolen that ball. Yeah, BYU stole it. The ball's clear. Will Taylor picks it up. Nice little scoop. And then Johnny's going to try to take it in himself. Oh, and the ball stripped right at the last second from Johnny's hands. And St. Mary's is countering. You know, I didn't see who that was, but that's an absolutely huge heads-up play by the St. Mary's player. He had his hands on the ball. Possibly saw that he wasn't going to be able to stop Johnny. Um, knew that he you know, kind of had, had him beat, had the full momentum. And all he could do was get his hands on the ball and to stop him from uh, So we'll see know, it on the replay get, here, what Ryan's talking zone. about. So Johnny, oh, Johnny just just not enough to get in and put it on the line. Yeah, so. that, was, that was that Garrett Brewer, number 10. He saw that, you know, saw that he was beat and knew, you know, if the only kind of chance he had to stop the try was get his hands on the ball and try and get it out and, you know, get him all the did. credit. That was a huge stop right before time. Yeah, a couple of great rugby players there squaring off. So... Um, BYU doing a great uh, BYU doing a great job in the first half. I think uh, they've come out here and they have executed on their game plan about 85%. Um, we've had some fortunate uh, turnovers from St. Mary's that BYU has been able to take advantage of. Uh, I've really liked uh, they, they have stuck to those keys of the game that we uh, discussed earlier. That 9-10 connection between Luke and Johnny has been really great. It's been totally on today. Luke Maki with getting that ball out really fast in several situations, um, which which has made the difference. Uh, what, what did you see? What, what do you like? Yeah, I absolutely agree. I think Johnny has played a great game so far at that number 10 position. He's hit every single one of his kicks, which is absolutely huge, giving BYU that lead. Um, but I think they I mean, they came out quick, exactly what they needed to do, get, uh, get that momentum going. Um, you know, but St. Mary's has fought to get, get back into it. They've had some great, huge defensive stands, including that last one right before the halftime yeah. break. Yeah. Um, you know, I think they've got to see that they're, uh, you know, in a good position to only be down 10 mm -hmm. at halftime, given uh, how they've played and how well BYU has played. But uh, I think kind of given that, St. Mary's have a little bit of momentum coming out in the second half, that huge defensive stand. Um, and so we'll, we'll see. It's going to be a... All uh, made for a great second half. Yeah, St. Mary's, I agree with you. St. Mary's, um, although they're down 10 points, that's a deficit that can easily be erased, uh, with, especially with a team like St. Mary's. It's got a lot of explosive uh, backs. Absolutely. Um, great, uh, you know, uh, great forward pack. It's very mobile. Um, so uh, they, they're, you know, definitely uh, still in the game here. And so St. Mary's will look to come out and erase that deficit in the second half. Uh, so come back to us in uh, about eight minutes, and uh, we'll join us again for this BYU rugby game, uh, St. Mary's uh, versus BYU. Thank you. Oh, I'm so sorry. Yeah. Go run! That's my bad. I'm so sorry. That's on me. Totally on me. Here you go. Are you okay? If we could get some of our medics over here, please, for Heather. Thank you so much. Are you really? What's it do? Oh, really? It's a pre existing injury that she's re injured, so I don't feel as bad. Give her a chair for Heather, please. Okay, now we're going to have another drop kick competition. I need five people. One of these people, I need Mickey Romano to come down. 
Mickey Romano. Where's Mickey Romano? You Mickey? Come over here, buddy. Jump over the fence. Please don't hurt yourself. All right. Let's come out over here. Is that what? Oh, what's up, what? All right, so as I explained last week, to get points, how we won the game last year was with a drop kick. So JC is going to give us an example of a drop kick, hopefully. Just like that. Okay? Need one of you to go get that, please. Okay, who's first? Wit. What's your name? I'm Whitney. Where are you from? Sandy, Utah. Sandy, Utah. There's lots of sand up there. It's great. She's married to one of our current players. All right, Whip. You don't want to have two balls on this side, too. Whoever's getting the ball. Yeah, drop it. Same. So I have to keep it. Right? What are you doing? Wasn't a drop kick. Try again. We'll give it one more chance. She made it. <laughs> All right, next up, we're going to have playoffs. If, if someone else gets it, we're going to go to elimination. <laughs> All right, what's your name? Uh, my name is Dan Cutter. Dan Cutter from? Uh, New Zealand. Auckland. New Zealand, Auckland. That's right. Great, 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 great people from New Zealand. I've heard a lot of good things about them. Really great people. Okay. What's your name? Lani Higgins. Lani Higgins from? Mount Pleasant. The girl that was here up first a little minute ago. Oh, tough crowd. No one likes Mount Pleasant. Sorry. All right, let's go. <laughs> Yay! Give her a round of applause. <laughs> What's your name? Scott. Scott from? Greenwood, Indiana. Indiana. Awesome. Don't know much about Indiana. Ooh, maybe next time. What's your name? Cole. Cole from? Salt Lake City. Salt Lake City, Utah. Oh, slightly to the side. Okay, so now we're going to go to single elimination. Whit, I need you to come back here. Brother Cutter from New Zealand, you can do it from the 22. Yeah. Because he's from New Zealand. All right, Whit, you go first. Oh. This is it, make it or break it. Ooh. Okay, well, it's a classic. We need the crowd to decide. Should we give it to Wit? Brother Cutter? Wit? Brother Cutter? I can't. It's Wit. Congratulations, Wit. Awesome. Cool, thank you. 
All right, we're in for a really good second half. We need everyone to go crazy. I've got one more T-shirt. <laughs> yeah, I tried. Ladies and gentlemen, looks like we're in for a great second half of this game. BYU looking to keep the pressure on. St. Mary's doing a great job defensing and looks to, to be a great second half here. So we get underway. BYU, yeah. I believe, will be yeah, kicking yeah, off. Yeah, that nicely. Okay, welcome back, BYU fans. Uh, I just want to thank everybody for tuning in to this webcast. Um, and I want to thank the uh, AV group from BYU as well. Uh, the crew's awesome here. They're the ones who put together all of this. They come here early, set up. They're here hours before the game starts. So they, they do a fantastic job bringing this to you. And um, actually, just some stats for the webcast from last week. We uh, the last week's game was viewed in eight different countries, so uh, United States, New Zealand, UK, Italy, um, South Africa, Germany, Australia, and Canada. So pretty awesome. So uh, welcome to everybody uh, where, wherever you are in the world as we uh, restart this, this second half. Yeah, we have uh, – it's going to be a, you know, an exciting half of rugby. It's made to be a great second half. See who can really start, uh, start strong here in these first ten minutes. Start with some momentum. And, uh, you know, it's going to be a great game. Yeah, the restart there right into uh, Luke Saucer's uh, hands. So, and then, and then it slipped off of his hands out of bounds. So uh, the big lock almost, um, I guess, yeah, yeah, creating some trouble there. So line out to BYU. Good take. Good toss by Dave Collins. Great first line out with BYU. Exactly what they needed. Mm -hmm, good. Some go for momentum with Seki. There's another good run there from Kyle Lontin, one of the workhorses of that forward pack. Very athletic forward pack. Johnny with a little misstep. Nice run by Johnny. Keeping the momentum going forward. Back inside to Will Taylor who takes it in. Good patient rugby here from BYU. Oh, uh, right as I say that. Well, 50-50 pass. Kyle Sumption was about level with him. Uh oh, we got jo Johnny with a good tackle. Thought it was high, but ref says play on. Everything looks good. St. Mary's with a chance of their own now to counter. Good play there from St. Mary's. Yeah, that's Kevin O'Connor in back there in the backs, kind of getting the, getting the ball wide, getting the forwards running at uh, BYU's backs. Great job by St. Mary's. So it's Mike, it's Mike Perry again coming in, thinks he has a shot of the ball, and just comes in totally off his feet. And you know you're never going to get away with that. It's about as blatant as it gets coming in off your feet. Yep. Before penalty, St. Mary's. You know sometimes when the defense sees an opportunity like that, you know his kind of eyes must have got big. Sees that you know the ball sitting right there. Um, you know, kind of comes in, tries to get the ball, but he's he comes right over and just completely off his feet and just you know, you know goes onto his hands and his mm -hmm. knees. And that's, uh, that's a penalty for leaving your feet. So. Yep. Yeah. Overall, this is uh, the refs done a really great job today.
a big kick here by Dylan Oddsley. If he could pull St. Mary's within a try, it would be a great start in the second half. And he slots it perfectly slots down it. the middle. Great kick. Great kick by Dylan. So that brings uh, brings the gap to narrows the gap to seven points uh, with just 2:45 gone here in the first half. Yeah, and just like that, uh, one try away with a conversion to to a tie game. Um, it's a great start by St. Mary's. Let's see if you know who uh, who can strike next. Good high restart from BYU. Will Taylor's Ben Keith actually getting in there. BYU almost took advantage of that. Nice little misstep there from Garrett. A little toss over the top out to Kingsley. Kingsley's a little toss back. St. Mary's with some real skilled backs. So St. Mary's managing to get it back out there. We've got a full, just about a capacity crowd here at Southfield. So great turnout today. Beautiful weather. Little knock on. Uh, looks like it was going to be a turnover by St. Mary's, but it was knocked on by BYU. So it'll be a scrum down to St. Mary's. Yeah, good crowd showed up today. I mean, it's absolutely a beautiful day here um, for, for March in Utah. Beautiful day for rugby. Let's we'll see here. BYU fighting for it and... Yeah, it looks like that ball squirted out the side of the ruck there, but then BYU knocked it on. You know, it might have been Johnny Linehan on the knock on. We've got a Gowdy here getting ready to go in on the sideline for BYU. Wearing the 20 jersey, I believe. BYU start rolling some subs. Maybe got some people gassed out there a little bit. Great strum there by St. Mary's. Platform to work off of. Kingsley with a no look pass outside. Full penalty there. It's like St. Mary's coming coming off or offside on that. Isn't that the call there? I think he was calling him for hands in the ruck. Must have been on his you know off his feet playing the ball. Hmm. Yeah, great string of passes, hey, hey, getting the ball up the sideline. Yeah, good, St. Mary's making a lot of ground there. Yeah, guy on his feet, guy there oh, on yeah, his feet playing the ball. Yep, that's what it was. Can't play that ball on the ground. It's, uh, I made that mistake early on. It's not like football where you're str str fighting for the uh, the fumble down there. Can't touch it if you're not on your feet. BYU line out, long toss over. Looks like that was an overthrow, but BYU is managing to come back up with the ball. Wow, good work by Ben Keith there. Very heads up rugby. Luke Maki going back to the weak side. Yeah, it's Mike Perry there. Kind of, but BYU right here will want to just work the forwards, try and get some forward momentum going. There's Sumption, Kyle Sumption. I want to see him put two hands on that ball. Luke Maki. Gets out to a good crashing Jared Whippy. Good line by Whippy. He looked like that St. Mary's player just kind of grabbed the ball right out of Luke's uh, right out of Luke's hands on that one. Yeah. Oh, nice. That ball is blocked by BYU. Looked like a forward pass there. Yep. The ref yep. So ref calls a forward pass there. So good work from Ben Keith. Definitely making up for some of those mistakes he made early in the game. Yeah, let's see who got that charge down. Oh, oh that was, looked like Whippy, yeah, huh? I think that was Jared Whippy. Got the charge down. Great attack. So BYU's defense is definitely going to be the difference here. I, I, I'm very impressed that they've managed to keep the the St. Mary backline bottled up as well as they have. Yeah, absolutely. They've done a great job today to keep uh, keep them under control. A lot of speed and power in that in that backline for St. Mary's, and they're very skilled ball handlers. Oh no, that ball's just a little bit high off of Chris Worley's, Worley's hands. So as a knock on, we're going to have a scrum down to St. Mary's. You know, I think something that BYU had to do today that they're doing a good job of is in the in the set pieces. Um, it started out, this sequence started out again with a great scrum, great platform for the backs. 
And I don't know if that ball was just a little too high for Wernley or yeah. what it's it like was. He, I don't but know if he was. Yeah, well, he wasn't. I don't know. Yeah. If it hits you in the hands, usually you need to grab you it. Gotta, yeah, you got to catch that one. There's definitely no excuse. I don't know what uh, what happened there, but yeah, just couldn't get a hold on it and be a scrum to St. Mary's. So, BYU, this has maybe been their, though, the weakest spot of their game so far today has been the scrum. Um, so, we're about halfway through the season here for the Cougars, and usually the scrum is a real um, sense of a spot of pride um, for the BYU forward pack. And they've got a long way to go, I think, to live up to some of the um, the forward packs of the of the years before. They haven't haven't quite been as solid and, and dominant in the, in the scrum as they usually are. Yeah, you know, I think this new you know the new engagement I think has been uh, kind of different for them. Um, they kind of pride themselves on you know being a bigger pack, being a, you know that first initial hit kind yeah. of get some momentum going. I think kind of having to bind before the engagement has kind of been different for them. So Kyle Sumption. Gets the ball stolen after a great little run off of the back of the ruck. Just gets the ball taken right out of his hands. Kyle Sumption, a very good runner, but he, he does run with just one ball on the uh, one arm on the ball. So and there, Kyle Sumption makes up for that. Gets the ball right back with a great steal. Oh no! And looked like Kingsley McGowan was going to score an easy try. You know, those long passes, sometimes they can be good if there's a lot of space out wide, but sometimes they can be deadly, um, especially on that one. I mean, Kings and McGowan had that red the whole way. Yep. Um, lucky for BYU, it looked like uh, there was a knock on back at some uh, initial point and saved that try. Luckily. That would have been an easy 60-meter scamper yeah. for Kingsley McGowan. No one was there. He had all the momentum going the other direction. So it looks like uh, Scott Gowdy comes in here. Subs in for, is that Mike Perry? That's Mike Perry, yes. Mike Perry subs in for Mike Perry there at, at Hooker. So there's the scrum from BYU. Good, good solid scrum from BYU. Better stuff that time. Good line from Jared Whippy. He's been running great lines all day long. Yep. Getting that go, go forward momentum. Ben exactly. Keith with a good little toss. Oh, no. So Johnny just missing his man out wide there. The connection there between Johnny and Chris has been a little bit suspect. You don't know if he was uh, just expecting him to be somewhere, but he kind of looked like he was throwing a no-look pass there. Yeah. Um, just expecting him to be a little bit more f flat. You know, so I don't jo know, but just, uh, yeah, ball yeah. went out of bounds. Johnny got a... Take a second there to look to his left. Line out, overthrow. Let's see if BYU can come up with it, and they do. Looks like a knock on. A knock on by St. Mary's off of that. Ball to BYU. You know, I don't know what it is. Um, I don't know if it's uh, kind of for some pressure from BYU getting those guys up at the St. Mary's hooker. Has been it's been a little off today. Yeah, he's been um, throwing a lot. I think you're right. I think it's the height that he's he's been trying to just get it over the hands yeah. of BYU, but th throwing it a little too high and too far. So let's see if BYU can do a repeat performance of their last scrum, which was very solid. Things kind of crumbled there. Well, oh, Luke Mucky comes up with the ball, so it wasn't pretty, but they did it. Seki Kofi with a good hard run. So good lines from the centers, from BYU centers. There's Will Taylor. Some great go forward ball. Good run from Will Taylor. Ben Keith. He's got good support there. BYU backline looking a little flat there. Oh no. Jared Whippy dumps it off to his brother and then he knocks it off of his own shoulder. You know, this is the thing that's been plaguing BYU the whole year, is getting these opportunities where they get close to the try line, get together a couple of phases, and just, if it, whether it's impatience, whether it's a bad pass, they can just not finish these scoring opportunities. Yeah. And once again here, just uh, a ball, you know. Oh, actually, I don't think he ever even had possession. I think it just bounced off his hand, so. Yep, you're right. You can I mean, see his frustration there, but wonderful opportunity, just goes miss there. Yeah.
Oh, the referee's letting that scrum go forward, even though the, the props were on the ground before the ball was even put in. Oh, uh, Kyle Lantine thought he had something there, but the full penalty to St. Mary's, not not releasing the player. BYU did not. You, once you tackle someone, you, you've got to release them. You can't just keep them wrapped up. You have to allow them to, to release the ball and, and get the ball back into play. So a good kick from St. Mary's, good clearing kick, gave them a lot of breathing room. Yeah, they'll have opportunity for a, a line out here deep inside BYU 2 territory, about on the looks like about the 30 meter line. Great opportunity to get some go forward ball and get some phases put together and get some uh, get a, get the, their attack going. So let's see if BYU can can uh, they're going with a shorter line out here to try and fix things. Will Taylor all over it. Awesome stuff from Will Taylor. He's been great today in those defensive lineouts. I think that's the second or third one that he's stolen today. Yep, and that's why we highlighted him, folks, before the game. Whippy with a good looks like so cleared that kick, but it but he did he was outside of the 22. He was in between the 22 meter line, so it's going to come all the way back to where he kicked it. So unfortunate there. Josh Whippy tried to, I think that was Josh Whippy who kicked it, just tried to get it inside the, so we basically repeated the last play here. Short line out again, St. Mary's to see if Will Taylor can repeat. Almost gets it. Oh, and not straight. Not straight, yeah. yeah Fantastic stuff from the BYU line out. Seems like Mike O'Neill is just, he struggled on those throws. I don't know uh, I don't know exactly what it is today, but he has been, he's been off in his throws today. Yep. Yeah, I think BYU's done a really great job of uh, getting the locks up and, and the flankers up in, in the defensive line out and messing up their flow, so it's been great. Good line out from BYU. A great throw from Gowdy just coming in the game. Comes in Maki great goes throw. wide out to Seki Kofi, skips a few of his players. Seki with a good hard run and a penalty. It's a full penalty there against St. Mary's. They once get the St. Mary's player after tackling. It seemed like the the ref penalized him for not rolling away. So once you uh, once you make a tackle, you can't just kind of lay there. You got to actually try and uh, get out of the way of the ball. And as you can see, he's just kind of laying yeah, on the ball, trying yeah. to slow things up. Trying to slow things down, which may be a sign of St. Mary's tiring a little bit here, as we get on to uh, 15 minutes away here in the in the second half. Elevation can start to wear on you at this point in time. So it's one of the home field advantages for BYU. Yeah, absolutely. But St. Mary's, no signs of tiring really yet. They're, they, they've they looked very sharp. In fact, they actually look like they've got a little bit more energy in the second half than they had in the first half. And that ball goes back, picked up by Kingsley McGowan, but he's all alone. BYU has numbers there. Yeah, they're, they're trying to hold up the ball there. St. Mary's is trying to use that ball, but BYU, it looks like BYU has got it held up. The ref's letting them play, and BYU comes out with it. Kyle Sumption. He's an animal. He's so strong. He is so strong. Look at him still on his feet. What a run by the captain. Dave Collins with another good hard charging run. BYU manages to keep it alive. Luke Mulkey gets it out, goes back. Wernley picks it up. He's all alone, okay, he's got some help there now. Yeah, this is the time, you know, they had some great forward momentum, but once, you know, once you have that uh, missed pass, you kind of just got to slow things down, realize that, you know, you got to make sure that overall you have to maintain possession, they're just going to slow things down here, use the forwards, yep. and try and get that forward momentum again before they get the ball back out to the backs. Just recycling here with the forwards, some pick and crashes to the weak side. Before Luke gets it back out to Johnny. Seki Kofi still on his feet. That BYU backline has hasn't been really coming on hard to the ball, taking a lot of whippy the whippy connection there. Great run there. Does he have support? Oh no, it's off of his foot. It's still alive. BYU still got it. 
Oh, it looks like an intentional knock-on. Full penalty. An intentional knock-on there will result in a yellow card. Wow. So he'll have to take a seat for 10 minutes. Yeah, at BYU, look. This is a great run here. So J Jared Whippy out to Josh Whippy with a great strong run. Looked so good here. Johnny Linehan luckily hits, kicks that off his foot, and BYU somehow manages to come up with it. And then you see here St. Mary's with the intentional knock-on. Yeah, you know, I think it's a kind of a combination there. That's a call that the ref has to make. But being that they did have the go for momentum and they were on St. Mary's five-meter line, you know, once uh, Joseph Reeve stuck out his hand and they had that knock on, I mean, the ref kind of has no other choice than to call that uh, an intentional knock and give him a, give him a yellow card. Yeah. Oh, it looks like BYU is actually awarded a penalty try for that. So tell, t walk us through the penalty try there. Yeah, so if, I mean, it's kind of uh, another thing that kind of the, the, it's kind of subjective to the ref, but uh, kind of that same thing. If he believes that BYU would have scored, no, kind of would have scored no matter what, but then a St. Mary's player, would, you know, kind of does something, commits a penalty. Um, and it's just kind of so obvious to stop that score. The yeah. ref can award a penalty try, um, and that's exactly what he did in that case. He believed that BYU would have scored if that intentional knock would not have happened, and you know, awards the yellow card and the penalty try to BYU. Yep. Go, go, go. So a good high restart there, taken by Will Taylor. Great take from Will Taylor. I'd like to see him get his body a little bit sideways, but hey, you'll take that. Good run by Kyle Sumption. Oh, they managed to keep it going here. Kyle Lontines there. Good hands from, from the support players there. Sumption really coming on with some strong runs. Yeah, he's really coming on the second half. BYU looks like they've really got the momentum right now. Really got some go forward ball going, finding space. They can just get these few passes that are going to miss. They can start connecting on those. Yep. They can really get to start rolling here. Yeah, Sumption I think started that play by by stealing the ball in, in, in the, off of that line out yeah just kind of was just trucking through and no one was in the pack yep over. really really got BYU going BYU managed to handle some of these iffy passes yeah right here they should kind of slow things down get the ball to the forwards uh, they'll kind of they'll try and keep it close to the forwards trying to get that forward momentum going again before they uh, get it out to the backs Oh, Dave Collins almost loses his balance. Keeps the ball there. Will Taylor distributing the ball out to Jared Whippy. Jared Whippy doing a great job of staying on his feet. He didn't have much support, but. Johnny Linehan to Ben Keith to Otta Elkington. A lot of phases here for BYU. Yeah, they put together a lot of phases. Looks like players on both sides started to get tired. Yep. David Collins with another good run. Yeah, forwards are slow to slow to get there. St. Mary's just blew that ruck up. Let's we'll yeah. see if they can finish that. Yep. Easy St. turnover, easy steal. Easy steal there for St. Mary's. Yeah, BYU saw, forward pack saw, needs to get there. Yeah, they saw the opportunity. There's a couple forwards there from BYU, and they saw the opportunity there, and they took advantage of it. BYU steals the ball. Looks like the referee's letting him play on off of the knock-on. And kind of a dumb play there from Luke Maki. I don't know, just trying to do a little fake pass there. I don't know what he was thinking, but that's a, that's a penalty, so it be a penalty to BYU there. Riker Haddock getting ready to come into the game for BYU. The young Buck had some hard runs last week, so I think he's the kind of impact sub that BYU wants to put into that forward pack, someone that comes in with a lot of energy. Ball, ball, ball down there, ball down Hard there. runs, high energy level, that's what it's all about when you're a sub. You need to come in and... So Riker Haddock comes in for Ben Keith. Warm up, warm up. Yes, this is, uh, I mean, this St. Mary's uh, could make something happen with this possession right here. It would be a great momentum swing. Awesome opportunity this line out inside BYU's 22. Let's see what they can do with it. 
And another long throw. Barely fielded by St. Mary's, but they're making the most of it. Great job by St. Mary's. And BYU just not, not really responding here at the Ruck. So, yeah, it looks, looks like uh, St. Mary's right here. Good tackle there from BYU. Yeah, great tackle from Dave Collins there. Just need smart, steady defense here. Almost, almost got the turnover there. Another good tackle from Riker, who just checked into the game. I remember that it was it was Joseph uh, Reeves. Here's a Joe, uh, quick, quick tap there from St. Mary's. Remember that it was Joseph Reeves, the number nine, that received that yellow card. So they don't really have their number nine to kind of coordinate things up there and. Um, and every rock in the faces. Yeah. So Riker had it comes in, makes a good tackle, but then gives away a penalty, which resulted in the quick tap. So St. Mary's got the ball over the try line there, as you saw, but it was held up. So, so good play from. You know, I think the ref is saying now that on that penalty, on the quick tap, BYU is not back ten. Oh. Okay. So St. Mary's will get the. Uh, we'll have a penalty here on the five meter line. So there's where it's held up, but yeah, as, as uh, Ryan pointed out. You you must uh, on that on that quick tap BYU has to get back ten. Whenever there's a full penalty, the other team has to get back ten. So there's the quick tap. St. Mary's going to try to pound it in here, so they can push it over the try line. Looks like it's held up again. Held up again, yeah. Great job by BYU. This is uh, this is where you really test your metal here, right? Oh, absolutely, yeah. This is gut check time. Um, I mean, for BYU, it looks like they're they're definitely tired. Yeah, um, yeah, guys, they got the hands on their hips. You can see it that they're getting tired, and St. Mary's is just kind of drilling them. They're on the on the try line, and it really is just gut check time. You just got to yep. give everything you have, do everything you can to try and not let them uh, score a try. Looks like they're doing enough so far. Yep, great job here. See if they can hold out. This is, you know, they're up by two tries. Might be tempted to let St. Mary squeeze another one in here, but this is the time that that the championship defense is built here. Oh, absolutely. And you actually you gain a lot of confidence from this too. Once you know if they can get out of this, create a turnover or something, and you know get the ball out, you can create a lot of confidence. Great tackle by Riker off of that scrum. Yeah, he's a he's a little power pack. Well, he's not little. He's he's a he's a big power pack. Strong kid, hard runner. Oh, St. Mary's manages to get it in. Michael McCarthy. Great, 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 great vision there by St. Mary's. We saw BYU. All the forwards were kind of just close to the ruck. They saw there was space outside. It was just kind of one long pass um, right there, and they saw they had space outside, and kind of just a very poor tackle there by Luke Maki, and uh, St. Mary's goes over for the try. Yep, so um, St. Mary's has a chance to pull within one try again. This will be um, a tough kick, but definitely within uh, Dylan Odsley's range here. He's, he's been pretty good today on his kicks. That's exactly what St. Mary's need to do. Uh, you know, they, after that last penalty try that was awarded to BYU, they came back and they, you know, they were given an opportunity, had that line out inside BYU's 22, and they made the most of it, uh, converted, con scored a try. With about 14 minutes left here, Dylan uh, has the opportunity to pull him within one try here. It's a good kick. I think it's a little bit inside the post, so no good. So BYU maintains a nine-point buffer but St. Mary's has got momentum in their favor at this point in time. You see some of these big boys starting to slow down a little bit for BYU. St. Mary's has rolled some subs on, so has BYU. So we'll see the restart here from Jared Whippy. Great high kick. Had the uh, good fortune of playing some sevens rugby with Jared Whippy, and he always put it right where uh, on the restarts, right where it was. So great take there by BYU. Great defense. Get the ball back up. Good go forward ball. Nice take by Kyle Sumption. The captain is looking for help. And he, he turns it over. A great inside run there. Uh, had some good go forward momentum. Obviously, you got to got to tackle Kyle low. But I think he was just, once again, trying to do too much just close to the goal line and turn the ball over. So St. Mary's clearing the ball there. Jared Whippy or Josh Whippy looking for some fast. 
Oh, and they're they're gonna they're not gonna give him the quick line out. It's like they're gonna say that uh, someone touched it. Someone touched line. it. Yeah. So as long as that ball doesn't touch someone on the sideline, then you're they're clear to do that quick line out. Yes, they can go for a quick line as long as you know once uh, another player uh, from St. Mary's can run up to the line out where the ball went out, and if they can you know, get there and set the line out, then they're, they but they cannot do that. But it looks like uh, St. Mary's is kind of slow on that chase, and they looked to do the quick line out, but it must have touch someone or something over there and so they weren't able to do it. Yep. So Scott Gowdy with the throwing duties now. Kyle Sumption, just a great run from the captain on that last one. Wow, I wish we could have capitalized on that. Kind of some sloppy play here from BYU. Just kind of wanted to get the ball and Jared Whippy relieves the pressure there. Good kick from Jared Whippy actually. Here comes St. Mary's with the counter. BYU's got numbers there. It's a great BYU, turn on the ball yeah. by there by Riker. Riker Haddock with just his strength gets in there and just runs over and steals the ball. That's exactly the kind of sub we needed out of Riker. Or BYU needed out of Riker, rather. BYU whistled there for holding on to the ball after the tackle. That's a full penalty. Yep, right after that, you know, we see that the, the forwards just kind of slow to get in there, slow to clear over the ruck. Yep. Sorry. And it's a full penalty there to St. Mary's. And the referee's having a chat now with his line judge. So BYU, again, missed opportunities. Um, Sumption had an, that was just a fantastic run. And man, it just, just turned it over there. At the and I think, I think he felt like he didn't have any support. And maybe he's right. His support may have been a little bit slow there. So he was trying to keep the momentum going. Can't fault him for that at all. Looks like there might be a yellow card here. Yeah, let's see what the – we're able to see kind of what happened there, but we'll see – I don't know what the ref was talking about. Maybe the side judge saw something. So yellow card for Jared Whippy. Not sure what – yeah, not sure what the call was, but. Yeah, it seemed like the side judge must have seen something that Jared did. So he kind of wanted to stop uh, stop the play and talk to the ref, um, kind of tell him what he saw, and then a decision was made, and Jared Whippy will be sitting on the sideline for the next 10 minutes, which is essentially the rest of the game. Now that we're at the 30-minute mark. Yeah, so BYU will be a man down for the next 10 minutes. Game clock and the clock you're seeing on the screen are a little bit off. So we've got about ten and a half minutes left here in oh, the second half. That, so though. good, good. Uh, Don't the touch in front of them. So keep in mind when there's a yellow card, BYU is playing a man down now. And they essentially, kind of like I said, it'll essentially be that way for the rest of the game. Um, so St. Mary's will play 15 on 14 um, for the remainder of the game. They have their yellow card. Um, that's Joseph Reeve. He's back in. So they're playing 15 on 14. Let's see, you know, if BYU can find their legs, if St. Mary's, if the altitude will affect them. These last 10 minutes will be crucial. BYU almost forced a turnover there. Will Taylor almost had it. Couldn't quite finish there on this deal. Great defensive line speed by BYU. They're really getting in St. Mary's face. Great steal by Kyle Sumption. Oh, the ref isn't going to allow it. Didn't release. You're saying, Saying someone did not re release the tackler, kind of like you were saying before, once you tackle the runner, you must release him. Let's take a look at the replay. I believe that they were they were just had their hands on the ball, but you know. Yeah, looked looked uh, looked be close on that one. It seemed like Kyle was kind of might I think the ref might have seen him, you know, kind of tackling the player, pulling him down, and at the same time stripping the ball from him. Yeah. So he actually did not completely release the player. Dave Collins calling for some crowd noise here as Michael McCarthy lines up, or Dylan Odsley rather, lines up for the kick. So this should be an easy kick for Dylan Odsley. And he slots it. So that's going to be St. Mary's 21, BYU 27. So less than a less than one tries difference here. Yeah, it's huge, huge for St. Mary's. Down, uh, you know, converted try away to being up one point. 
And remember that Jared Whippy is essentially on the sideline for the rest of the game with that yellow card. Um, so we're going to see uh, great momentum here. Momentum's on St. Mary's side. See if they can get the ball and get some momentum going, get some possession. Good restart kick. Good restart kick. Ball goes back. Dave Collins comes up with it. Great play by BYU. So just eight minutes left here. And looks like St. Mary's managed to force a turnover. Nope, and there's a penalty. Ref didn't like something that he saw in there. Take a look at the replay. I didn't really see exactly. It looked like Joe actually lost that ball. Um, I didn't like see exactly what the ref said was a penalty. Yeah, me neither. Looks like, I mean, there may have been a St. Mary's guy who was in the way on the ground down there. So with that full penalty, Johnny Linehan's going to look to slot about a 30-meter kick to uh, give BYU a push back to a nine-point cushion here. Now it looks like he's right about the, maybe just inside the 15-meter line there from the sideline. Definitely a makeable kick, and this would be huge to put them kind of out of reach of that converted try. Put them up by nine points again. Well struck by Johnny. Straight down the middle. Huge kick by Johnny right there. Absolutely huge. And just like you said, right down the middle. Beautiful kick by Johnny. So this is this is what we're talking about, BYU taking advantage of the, the mistakes of St. Mary's. Just like you were saying, that all started on that uh, that restart win. Um, Kyle Lunting got up, hit the ball back, and BYU won the restart back, um, turned into points. These restarts are crucial today. So they've got a ball boy running for his life to get out of the way here for the restart. High restart. Wow, great work from the BYU forwards. I'm not sure who knocked that was that Will backwards. Taylor again. Will, Will Taylor, Taylor getting up there and hitting the ball back and taking advantage of his, his, his height and his hops all day today. There's Riker Haddock. His team getting behind him for a little bit of a mall. Sumption comes out with it. The captain is all alone. Good support there from BYU, but it looks like St. Mary's got a hand in there and popped the ball out. Yeah, good turnover there by St. Mary's. Um, a great opportunity here. The ball inside the BYU's half. Oh, and St. Mary's falls down to the ground. Play on BYU's ball. There's a lot of space outside, a lot of go forward momentum there. And Chris BYU Wernley has to wait for the, the bounce. Yeah, once again, BYU can't really hit those passes out wide. So what St. Mary's is trying to do here on a tackle, if they kind of can hold up a player and then hold them up and BYU can, cannot get the go forward momentum, they will actually be a turnover. So that's what they were essentially doing in that case. BYU was able to take the ball to the ground and recycle it, fortunately. So BYU trying to get their forwards to get back and forth across the field here to support. BYU lacking a little bit of support here. Look, Maki opts for a little kick over the top. Not sure why he did that. Yes, not something you definitely want to do in that case. Um, Puts the ball back up. in St. Mary's hands with five minutes left yeah, on the absolutely. clock. Yeah, you're up. Uh, you have the ball. Slow it down. Just maintain possession. That's all you have to do. Riker Haddock almost comes Riker. up with that ball, and BYU manages to come away with it. Dave Collins standing totally flat, but he's got some support there, and he makes the most of it. Good work from Dave. Yeah, you can tell both teams are very tired. Uh, BYU's forwards are. Very tired, um, slow to getting around the field, slow to get in support. Essentially, if they can just dig deep and you know save this, hold on to the ball, maintain possession, um, things will look good for them. Yeah, at this point in time, we just want to see phases from BYU. Just prove how well you can hold on to the ball. Seki Kofe with a good line. He finds Josh Whippy, and Josh Whippy goes in for the try. Huge score there. Great run by Josh Whippy. It started off with that uh, hard run by Seki Kofe, and that is just a huge score by BYU with four minutes left in the game. So we'll see here. Seki Kofe gets in, makes a few St. Mary's guys miss, and just a beautiful offload to Josh Whippy. That's a huge play. Great, great job by Seki, but making a few guys miss, getting that go for momentum, getting his hands loose with the ball and finding Josh. Great support line by Josh. Those of you at home, 
That's what you want to do when a guy's going forward. Get on his hip, get in position, be able to get the ball back from him. And uh, that's exactly what Josh Whippy did. Seki found him, and he was able to score a huge try in the corner for BYU. Yeah, that was, that was, that was really crucial. So BYU is sitting with a 14-point advantage right now before the conversion attempt by Johnny. Now, this is going to be a tough kick. Way out on the edge, about as far out as you can get. So across the field, this is probably like a 40-meter kick. And Johnny barely misses it. No shame there. That's a tough kick. First first miss of the day. He's been perfect on the day besides that. Bowie still maintains that 14-point lead. So St. Mary's rolling subs here, trying to get some energy. Some last-minute energy here, see if they can get a get a push. Now, there's plenty of time to score a couple of tries here. So don't go away, folks. This game is not over. Will Taylor goes up for it again. Will Taylor just really. Huge take. Huge, huge take, take by Will Taylor there. Maintain possession for BYU. So BYU taking their time here. Yep, with about two minutes left, see what BYU is going to try and do here is pretty much just keep the ball on the forwards. Yeah, um, and St. Mary's doesn't really have the energy to counter Rock right now. Yeah, they see how they, they're kind of. But in the, it's in their best interest to really pressure this this tired forward pack. I mean, right at this point in the game, it comes down to who's who's got more left in the tank. Yeah, and all BYU is going to do, I mean, this is essentially what they're going to try and do for the last two minutes. They're just going to keep it with the forwards. Um, I mean, it's very hard to create a turnover. All your forwards right there, they have all eight, eight forwards, just kind of creating this ball, just go forward, and it's very hard to create a turnover. Great phases by BYU. This is about five phases so far. Six phases. Hey, great turnover they, there by St. Mary's. turn it over. That was Alec Barton in there. The, a sub just came on, making an impact, got his hands on the ball, took the ball away, and let's see if uh, St. Mary's can do anything with it now. St. Mary's manages to get it out. Great run there. Great cut by Garrett Brewer. Ooh, and a big hit. Big hit by Josh Whippy on that one. Huge hit. Oh, Alec man, Barton's and Johnny Linehan manages to somehow get the ball out. Jordan Lowry kicks it back through the ends of the chest. So we let's get a replay on that hit. You know, I think on that one, uh, Lowry didn't really – seemed like he thought he was a lot under more pressure than he was, kind of opted just for the – kind of the, to kick it out of bounds. So you see here, just a huge hit there by – Jared Whippy. That yeah, was Josh. Josh Whippy, yeah. sorry. He just knocks the ball. Yeah, Jared's still on the sideline. That would have been amazing if Jared had done that. And it seemed like Johnny tried to throw the ball out to someone there and end up getting kicked through. And um, yeah, Somehow Johnny had three guys holding him up, and he managed to get an arm free with the ball out. It's moving that Kyle Lowry was going to kick it out of the back of the try zone. It will be a scrum on the five-meter line to St. Mary's. So the crowd's getting loud here. This is the last minute. We tick down to the last minute of the game. St. Mary's looking for one last try. They still got time on the clock, and we don't know how much stoppage time either. So and keep in mind, I think BYU just barely got back to – did we just barely get back to 15 men? Yes. So BYU's got even numbers again. BYU turned over the ball. Oh, Luke Maki has it blocked. He kicks it right into the hands of St. Mary's. Luke got a little bit anxious on that box kick there. BYU playing for pride here to keep them out of the end zone. Johnny looking for the steal. He had good hands on the ball there. St. Mary's holds on to it. Yep, good job at BYU defense so far. Looks like the ref is playing advantage to St. Mary's. I think he's getting uh, Johnny for not releasing the tackler. But we'll see. Kingsley McGowan trying to get in there. Oh, BYU comes up with the turnover. Yep, he's going back to that penalty. Yep. John did not fully release the tackler on that one as he was going for the ball, so they didn't go back to that penalty. So we're going to go for it. St. Mary's, I imagine, is going to go for a quick tap here. Oh, and it looks like that was almost knocked on. He, no, yep, and it was knocked on. That should be the game. And that is the game, folks. So BYU. 
a, a very well played game. Uh, these teams match up very well against each other. Uh, BYU ultimately comes out with a 14 point victory. Uh, solid forwards play. You know, those two players that we highlighted at the beginning of the game, Will Taylor, Johnny Linehan, were absolutely crucial. Uh, you know, huge part of this victory. Um, I really I really liked the, what the forwards did up until the fitness there at the last 10 minutes. I think uh, BYU's definitely got some fitness stuff to work on there. Um, you know, even for the, the, the subs coming on, we need to see a little bit more energy out of them. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, uh, overall, a great day by BYU. Um, I mean, they ended up you know, rematch number one versus number three, St. Mary's. They got him to get on the home field, came out with a 14-point win. Um, a lot of good rugby play today. A lot of positives BYU can take out of it. A lot of positives St. Mary's can take out of it. Overall, it's a great day. Both teams, uh, great rugby on display. BYU just uh, maintained their perfect rec record against collegiate teams here on their home field. And uh, it was a it was a great ga great game of rugby. Yeah. yeah, I'd like to thank St. Mary's fans for tuning in, if any of you did, and uh, thank the St. Mary's program for for coming and playing a really hard game on the road here. They did a fantastic job, incredible display of athleticism, and um, and, and really just they, they played a full 80 minutes there. Really gave BYU a good run there at the end um, to try and come back and tie things up. Uh, I'd like to thank our sponsors and the whole camera crew that put things together. Uh, join us. Uh, for the, the next game will actually be two weeks from now. Um, BYU will be playing uh, Idaho. Actually, they'll be playing Utah Valley University here. So uh, we should have that on the webcast on March 22nd. Thanks again on behalf of everybody from BYU.